I'm Amy from Our Amiable Farmhouse, and today I'm going to show you how I make our family some lip balm and hard lotion. This is a really easy DIY recipe. We use it a lot during these fall and winter months. Our skin can get dried out and with the cold weather, I tend to not drink enough water. I know, right? You're supposed to drink more water. I do like to cozy up with a warm cup of tea or too much coffee. You know how it goes. So I just don't drink enough water and I think my skin dries out. Anyways, it's just great to have some lip balm and some hard lotion on hand to help my skin with any dry, itchy, or cracking problems. Just three ingredients. I like to use coconut oil, shea butter, and beeswax. I also used shea butter today. Now, uh, I've also used cocoa butter, and that is so fun because you smell like chocolate all the time. The need to increase your dark chocolate intake may occur. Using the cocoa butter is really fun, especially at Christmas time. You can flavor it with some peppermint essential oil and that smells really good. Today I picked some essential oils to go with the Christmas season coming up and um, it's a, they're good combos for all winter long. I'm using frankincense and myrrh and some bergamot. Now I would have loved to use lemon eucalyptus but I didn't have it on hand so I need to remember to order that. I did have a blend of frankincense and myrrh. Uh, you can use them separately or I just happen to have a blend on hand. So um, I usually like to use about 15 drops of each essential oil for this amount that I'm making today. And so I did, um, my uh, frankincense and myrrh was a mixture uh, together. So I put 30 drops of that in and 15 drops of bergamot. Today's recipe made seven small hard lotion bars they look like this and it's perfect size to put in a little tin to take with you in your purse and you can just rub it on in your hands when your hands are feeling a little bit dry and it smells so good. It also made seven of these lip balm tubes and I will be passing these out to my girls because they're always complaining. I'm out of chapstick mom and they're always going into my purse and using mine. So a little early stocking stuffer. But yeah, these make great gifts. Um, stocking stuffers, uh, gift baskets, Mother's Day, birthdays. People love to receive these things um, because you know you just really can't find something like this in the store. And if you do, they're very expensive, but you can make these at home for way less. Let me show you how I do it. It's real quick, very simple. First, you just take a double boiler, which uh, for me is just a, a small or a medium-sized stainless steel pot. I fill it with some water about halfway and get it to simmering. I like to use um, a mason jar. I have this dedicated mason jar that I've saved from um, some local raw honey that I have purchased and I use this to make my hard lotion. Simply measure out one third cup coconut oil, one third cup shea butter, and three ounces of beeswax. Also, the one third cup measurements of shea butter and oil, you can measure out to roughly around three ounces. Put all those ingredients in your mason jar and start to melt it in your double boiler. Once that's all melted, stir to combine, remove from the heat, and let it cool down just for about a minute or so. You don't want it completely cooled. Now you add your essential oils. I added 15 drops of frankincense, 15 drops of myrrh, and 15 drops of bergamot. Stir to combine, and then pour into molds of choice. You could use 
these nice silicone shapes, which is, makes it really easy to pop out when they're hardened, and some lip balm tubes. I've used different shapes from rectangles to stars to flowers. Sometimes it's just fun to have a different shape. Also, I love to be frugal, and so whenever I find a little tin, these were like some green tea mints from Trader Joe's. This is some organic hard candy and everyone's favorite Altoid mint or um, some ice chips. These make great little containers that you can put in your purse and they store the hard lotion really well if I can get it open. <laughs> See there? And then have this little bar of lotion. Stick it right in there. Pop that baby in your purse and you are never without some lotion. And if you don't want to mess around with those little chapstick tubes or lip balm tubes, chapstick, it's like it's like Kleenex, you know? It's trademarked, the name, right? I don't know, you're not supposed to say it. Are you supposed to say it? It's a tissue, not a Kleenex. Or it's lip balm instead of chapstick. Who knows? You know what I mean, guys, right? Anyways, when you don't want to use those little lip balm containers, because let me tell you, they are a little bit cumbersome to get into or to pour your ingredient into, um, this rubs on just as nicely, right? Just whatever your preference is. And a little note on those lip balm tubes. Um, usually I will use like a Pyrex um, measuring cup because it has that nice little pour spout on it and uh, that's a little bit easier to pour your liquid um, lotion or liquid lip balm into. Um, today I was showing you how to use a little a syringe thingy whatever those things are called. I used to have a plastic one um, that was larger and so that was easier to use but it got so gunked up that they're just really hard to clean out. In fact this one today is really gunked up and I'm gonna soak it in some hot water and see if I can't clean it out but it's probably you know something that's gonna go into the trash can because I don't have time to deal with a mess like that trying to get it all out so really it's kind of smart to just maybe carefully pour from your mason jar or from the mason jar you could pour it into another little uh, Pyrex measuring cup with a nice pour spout and then you can control it easier uh, as you pour it into your lip balm tube. That's it. So very simple and you can make it at home and it's a heartfelt handmade gift to give at you know different holidays and occasions and people really love them. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If so, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. welcome. Hit that subscribe button. I bring a new video each week on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thanks so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. See you next time.